The time has come, Phillies and Gentle Pots. Two of these episodes, where Applejack has the main role, are about to face up head to head. To see which one of them is the better episode. The winner will be the sheriff of better episodes, Phil, while the loser won't be. So with that said, We've got some splain to do. Darling, Sugar Q, Shout and Episode, the last roundup starts off with. <laughs> okay, I thought I could avoid this um, <clears throat> controversy, but uh, you people want me to bring it up. But you know what? It kind of pees me off too. The one thing that has led this community to have the most complaints out of anything that it has to offer so far from parents, from co workers, from just about any other person that you could name on the face of the earth everyone was offended by this decision. And I am the most offended of all, if you don't mind me saying. So, Hasbro, Hub, everyone who works on explaining this magic, explain this to me. Why did you give Apple Bloom Applejack's hat? How could you, Apple Bloom? How could you? You're all here! Hey, exposition! Exposition! You're the best big sister! And there you are, using something that's technically not yours! You feeble little man! You feeble little man! But you know what? I ought to give you five across the ass, you stupid little horse! I ought to give you some what for? I'll give you something that your parents obviously didn't give you! And I shall banish you over here on top of the next thousand moons! Okay. I think I let that out for everybody, so, um, let's just get this over with. On a side note, go Team Derpy! <laughs> Anyway, a big rodeo competition is going on in Cantalas, and Applejack is ready to compete for some blue ribbons. And some prize money. So all of Ponyville sends her off at the station so she can knock the competition out of the water. As well as uh, get their prize money. So yeah, everyone is saying that she's gonna win this whole thing. She'll bring home all the ribbons and bring home... Lots and lots of money. Oh gee, with all that build up, I wonder what's gonna happen. Can't explain that yet. Oops, spoilers! <laughs> right, Applejack? Say it, come on, sugar pie. What she said. And sack off she does! And she doesn't come home when the competition ends! And all of Ponyville are shocked. And saddened. Seriously! Even Big Mac here can't hold it in! So our heroes have to save Nico Robin from whatever is stopping her from returning to- Wait a second, did I just make something up? Mm hmm. So they look all over the rodeo to find Applejack, but to no avail. With Pinkie Pie being overused for comic fall this episode, I don't blame them. However, their search leads them to a western town known as Dodge Junction. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast, every pony. But my bigger question is, I wonder if they're gonna make a skunk smoke reference. Oh, oh, oh! And what do you know? They find Applejack. Hurrah! But she's working in a cherry farm now. Hurrah! Which is owned by this fine mayor named Cherry Jubilee, which for some reason reminds me of that one character from Tipping the Velvet. I'm not gonna say anything other than that in case you have kids watching this, but uh, let me just say this. Let's just hope this here fine mayor doesn't have her... Cherry Pops. <laughs> well, Applejack won't be honest with what happens at the rodeo as she ignores every question thrown at her. With Pinkie Pie being overused for comic foil this episode, I don't blame them. Even when the Pinkster is thrown in to annoy the schmuck out of Applejack until the latter promises to explain everything in the morning at breakfast. Or should we make that a, uh, Pinky promise? And as we all know from GIFs and memes and whatever, you do not break a Pinky promise. But seeing this tells us Applejack, she's not gonna do anything as dishonest as break a Pinky promise. Isn't that right, Applejack? I'm not coming to breakfast, so I just found the loophole in your promise, so... So the chase is on to catch Nico Robin and... Okay, okay, you know what? If we're gonna make more One Piece jokes around here, then I'm gonna need the proper music for this scenario. Hit it! Yes! Let us get the heck out of Springfield! So after 
a pretty headache chasing, the gang finally captures Applejack and find out the horrible, devastating truth. Applejack only won second place in the rodeo! Ah! Hey, that's not even horrible or devastating, so, uh... What the fifty whiz? Friendship is magic! Ooh, I see! So Applejack wouldn't want to come home a failure in her own eyes, not knowing that her friends and family would never see her as a failure to begin with! I must say that, Hasbro Studios, I would have called it aloud in front of your audience, but you know what? Just getting to that scenario, it's all been pretty good. Good storytelling, good comedy, good moral, just, just all around good. I don't regret seeing this episode at all, and I'm pretty sure that the next episode I'm gonna see is gonna be just as good. Isn't that right, Applejack? Sweet Virginia, you're in for it. Oh, come on now, Applejack. Are you trying to tell me that this episode, the super speedy side of Squeezy 6000, isn't good compared to the last one? Are you saying that the last roundup is the better episode? Are you saying that I should practically give the award to the last one and just not see this one altogether? Are you really being a true, true, true friend in the eyes of the Lord himself? Pony Jesus? That would be correct, Mr. Sweet Tooth. No one has to suffer the wrath of the super speedy side of Squeezy 6000. Not even you. watch it anyway. You'll be sorry! Well, well, well. The episode takes place during apple cider season, where every pony wants to drink large and learn nothing in the process. So, just like any other rock festival then. Also, keep dibs on naked Fluttershy. Comments, hoof beats! After the hottest- ah! <laughs> But no dibs on the wrong eye color for Shirley. Shame. Jack, apparently, for not having enough cider for every pony, especially a very, 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 Now I tell those ponies that that our apple cider is made of love, mainly apples, but the love part is most important, along with patience, hard work, and love. You said love twice. Well, that's because it takes twice as much love as patience, and I'm running out of both! Well, unless a poor group of shady shale stallions come our way and do a sing-along where you buy their cheap-tasting cider at double the price, then you can just wait until tomorrow! Oh my god, that's exactly what happens, isn't it? Yep. That's my line. <laughs> Enter our, quote-unquote, antagonists for the evening, fellow viewers. The Flim Flam Brothers and these guys Annoy the sh- Sorry! Oh me! The first actual curse word that I use in this show for season two! That's how much I hate them! Oh, I get it. They're meant to be shady. They're meant to, meant to squeeze every last coin out of their scaps. And they're meant to be voiced by otherwise fine voice actors to make fun out of that. Now, yeah, you know what? I get it. Really. But couldn't you at least have some fun with these guys? Writers, producers, animators, the wise crack at themselves are being so greedy instead of just being greedy. I mean, they're not killed or bad, but... Jeez, these guys are bad! Now it would be one thing for them to be selling these blind pony folk their crappy drinks while Applejack is suspicious, but we need to add the insultitude, the douchebaggery of these guys. You know what? I'm thinking a good old jazzy piano solo just to describe how hateful they are. Play it! And I swear it's Springfield's only choice. Throw up your hands and raise your voice. Monterey. What's it called? Monterey. Once again! Monterey. Yeah, it was that obvious for me two years ago, so if you didn't get it then, you've got it now. In fact, just to be subtle about this whole thing, I'm gonna change your guys' name so that way I won't be confused for anything else. You will be Lyle, and you will be Lanley. I'm gonna call you the Lyle Lanley Brothers. Phil Hartman would be rolling in his grave! God bless this song. So, yeah, there's a good chunk of the episode for you in a nutshell. These guys dare the Apple family to a showdown to make the most cider. Applejack doesn't trust them about their tactics, and every other pony is learning nothing while wanting to drink their precious, precious cider. Again, real lullabaloos are there. And the race is on! So we have the Apple family working real hard, and they what up. Wait, what? Oh no. No, 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 I am not doing any of this commentary if those Lawland brothers are involved. You know what? No, I'm going home. Fuck this episode! <laughs> Mr. Sweet Tooth, if the Lyle Lanley brothers win this here competition, we'll lose Sweet Apple Acres for sure! 
Why do you sound like Dorothy? It doesn't matter! Th th this became totally clear now! Alright, Tweedle Dick and Tweedle Head, you want a showdown right here? Well, then you're going to get it. This calls for friendship. Nope. Our hero's lost. That was really expected. Should have um, hit the fast forward button on there. But then we wouldn't have a friendship. Wild well, Everypony, Sweet Apple Acres is gone. Forever. But please, please, enjoy your cider, okay? That's, that's all you cared about anyway, right? The cider. And not the love that we gave into it. Cider. Uh. Oh, Jesus. You know what, guys? This is... This is a real big affection here. It's probably gonna take a while to get over this tragic loss anyway, but... If... I know Applejack, and I most certainly do. This is not gonna bring her down. She is gonna keep working hard. She is gonna provide for her family, and she is gonna come back on top! That is the Applejack I know. And that would be a real fascinating story. This wild lonely cider tastes like my urine. Why did we not see the obvious sooner? Come on, y'all. Let's show them some love. By death. <laughs> so the moral for this episode, ladies and gentlemen, love, patience, and even helping your bestest friends will see us through no matter how long it takes. But seeing as how Applejack knew that, who wants some cider? Yeah, this episode is so bad, so annoying, so tedious, all I have to say is go see it. Yeah, it's one of those rare Friendship is Magic episodes that's so bad, it's enjoyably bad. So everypony, go grab a cider and enjoy mucking the super speedy cider squeezy 6,000 for as long as you live. Like me! <laughs> <sighs> Well, that's all fine there if you like slash hate it, Mr. Sweet Tooth, but which episode did you prefer? You know, that, that's the most, that's the most interesting question right there, you know? The winner is both of them, but I don't mind either one of them. Mainly for Applejack, since she's just proof that she is honest. Stuff. Sure, she'll have her days where she'll be fortuitous, but she is so awesome. I love her so much that I could just, I could just, I could just. You realize that their apple cider was alcoholic, right? Everybody wins! Hooray! The first plot twist! So, everybody, everybody, please like, comment, subscribe, kiss me, you're beautiful, beautiful. <laughs>